Checking back in on La Liga's big game of the day, Barcelona taking on Mallorca and coming mm. through with a 2-1 win. Not the most glittering of wins, but Memphis Depay on the score sheet in this game. Afterwards, our Gemma Soler managed to catch up with him. Uh, with Memphis Depay, congratulations on the win and the goal. It was important to go back to victory today. Definitely, very important, especially at home. Um, we, uh, we know what we have to do in the upcoming games and uh, yeah, today we had to like, get that feeling back of winning and so it was very important. It, it was not easy to, to score the fir that first goal, it was the Araujo's disallowed. Uh, it's it, it been a while since that you last scored in La Liga. What was the feeling? How, how was that goal important for you? Oh, for me, it's, uh, it's always good to score goals. Uh, especially to make minutes, you know, I, I had a couple of injuries, so quite unlucky and then coming back and uh, to help the team. And today I, I was happy that I could start and uh, yeah, show that, uh, that I have the quality and um, obviously then to score a goal, it's always good. But we knew what we had to do today and uh, we had to be a little bit patient before the, the first goal. And after that, to be honest, we could have scored more goals. As you mentioned, it hasn't been easy for the team, for yourself. Uh, what do you expect for these four match days you have left? Uh, and what do you think about the next season? Do you see yourself here in, in Barcelona next season? Um, for, for me, like, we knew that the, the beginning of the season that it was a new project. And I, I came here with a desire to play here. So for me, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's no question. Of course, I want to I wanna be important for the team and help the team even uh, next year and uh, hopefully for many more years. Uh, uh, there was a special moment when Ansu Fati came after this uh, long injury. Uh, what do you think about him and how do you see this youngster? Well, for me, he's a special kid, a happy kid, and uh, I'm very happy to see him smiling again on the pitch. You know, It's really important for him, for his family, for Barcelona. So really happy that he is w back with us. Um, and we have, to, we have to take care of him, we have to give him time, you know, he's a special talent and uh, he, can, he can have some time and, and he will come back, I think, great. So yeah, really one happy. last question. It's going to be difficult for you to, to motivate yourself in these uh, four match days? No, or, no, or of, you course know? Not. of course not. Uh, every game we need to improve and what I say, this is, uh, this is something that we, <coughs> we tell each other every, every time in the practice. Also... Um, from the beginning of the season, so yeah, we have to improve and, and these last four games, it's really important for us, how we, how we end the season. Thanks and congratulations okay. on the win. Gemma, we heard his own intentions on his future with Barcelona there, but what has been the talk in Barcelona about Memphis Depay? Oh, okay. Well, there are more doubts here in, in Barcelona because, of course, he, he hasn't been uh, that uh, common in the, in the starts with Xavi. But it's true that in, in, in the last match days, uh, in, in that terrible uh, game against Rayo, he was one of the few ones who brought some quality. And, and today uh, he was fit enough to, to score that important goal in, in a complicated moment of, of, of this team. It, it was more than 300 minutes here in this stadium where the team was not taking the lead. Uh, but, but he hasn't been that consistent, especially when we talk about a, a, against big ri rivals. Uh, not in a match like today with a, a team uh, trying to battle for relegation like Mallorca. And he did great uh, uh, with that kind of teams at the beginning of the season. Actually, even though he hasn't played that much, uh, he's the top scorer with 11 goals in, in La Liga. But there are kind of some doubts uh, about his performance. So I think that's why the, the next four games are, are, can be crucial. And especially uh, Barcelona are moving. They are trying to find a, a shiny signing uh, in the forward world line. They are talking about Lewandowski, even though uh, they were talking about Haaland too, even though it was a pipe dream. They are talking about Lukaku. So it will depend on if they can attract someone that maybe is more reliable. Uh, it will depend that future. But I think there's one thing that it's pretty clear that Memphis Depay is ahead of Adama Traoré. We thought today was a day for Adama going back uh, to the start uh, as Dembélé was not 100% fit and uh, Xavi decided to put uh, Memphis Depay. So I think it's that quite significant that uh, Memphis Depay, he, he came for free in, uh, in the summer. Uh, Adama is uh, on a loan. So, so I think he's ahead of Adama and we will see if depends on the signings, he will stay or not.
Jeremy, you mentioned some of those bad performances in the game against Raya. One of the players who was taken off was Frankie de Jong. We saw him exchanging some words with Xavi. There was some talk today in the press of mm. Xavi having words with him and expecting a good performance from him today. You spoke to him after the game. What did he have to say? Did he mention anything to do with that? Yeah, well, uh, he, he was very upset uh, the, 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 that day against Rayo. About he, he probably was one of his worst games uh, since he arrived here in, in Barcelona. And it was a complicated week for him. Uh, we know Xavi had uh, individual talks face-to-face uh, -face with some of the players. Frankie de Jong was one of him. Uh, they interchange opinions because Frankie is quite upset that he's always one of the first players uh, players to be uh, sent off, uh, taken off from the from the pitch. So so they discussed about that and it was quite a positive chat is what uh, Frankie de Jong explained to us. And but he says that he knows what he has to do. And and he's uh, according to Xavi, uh, there are some rumors about his future too, because Barcelona needs to make money and he could be a chance as uh, Eric Ten Hag could be interested in him signing for Man United. As far as we know, he's a non-transferable player uh, unless there is a a crazy offer out of the market they would consider but the, the information that we have is that he's not uh, transferable he's a key player in a long-term future with a Chavis project uh, and uh, uh, Frank de Jong what he told us is that it was a positive talk and it helped and it's helping him uh, even though he does know what he has to do but sometimes see it works sometimes it doesn't he he was uh, I think quite relief of doing back a good performance and going back to victory because he was extremely frustrated the, the other game against Rayo. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN Plus.